Hey guys, it's Mike here with High Intensity Health. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to talk about meditation and your immune system and how meditation, per a recent meta-analysis, has been shown to increase your body's ability to combat an infection and reduce your body's inflammatory response and may even affect your body's longevity and your biological age. So this meta-analysis looked at 20 different randomized controlled trials, a total of 1,600 cumulative adults you know, in these different studies that they analyzed in this meta-analysis. The number one finding that they found is that meditation is consistently linked with a reduction in nuclear factor kappa beta, also known as NF kappa B. You may be familiar with NF kappa B before you've heard about it. It's a pro-inflammatory transcription factor. It's a molecular switch that turns on the genes that make bad guys things, proteins and cytokines you may have heard about, like interleukin-6, TNF-alpha, interleukin-1-beta, and even C-reactive protein. So we want NF-kappa B to be down-regulated, and guess what? This meta-analysis showed that consistently, with the highest degree of statistical significance, NF-kappa B is reduced amongst meditators compared to non-meditators, which is cool. And what they also found is that C-reactive protein now, let me pause. You know this is a non-specific marker of inflammation. However, we do know it is linked with all-cause mortality and heart disease and diabetes and so forth. Compared to non-meditators, okay, meditators have a reduction in C-reactive protein, which is huge. Now, that's the bad stuff that was down-regulated. What was up-regulated? Well, this meta-analysis found that telomeres, they're the protective uh, caps on your chromosomes. I liken them to shoelaces, if you will. You know, if you look at your shoelaces, you have that little protective cap. Those are the telomeres. Well, the enzyme telomerase is responsible for making the telomeres you know, for maintaining them and making them longer and so forth. Well, the enzyme telomerase was upregulated amongst meditators versus non-meditators. Again, this is over 1,600 people, so this is a pretty large cohort. Okay, so that was that's really important. You know, a lot of people, let me pause right there with that with that study and just kind of expand upon telomerase and telomeres and anti-aging in general. A lot of folks are focused on slowing down their biological age. You know, we all notice a little more wrinkles. You know, I start to notice them on myself and stuff. I travel a lot and uh, and so forth. So so we are noticing these things as we age. And so we're, we're trying to find ways to slow down our aging process. And guess what? If we can connect with our breath and have a non-judgmental mindset and just be present, the research shows that that can slow down our biological age and increase the activity of an enzyme that can preserve our genomic integrity and stability, the, the, the telomeres, telomerase enzyme, which is really important. So the last finding that was statistically significant across all the different studies that they've looked at was an increase, this is only in HIV and AIDS, uh, HIV positive and people with AIDS was an increase in CD4 T helper subset activity. So this is a type of white blood cell that was found to be more upregulated, more active. Okay, so that was pretty unique, you know, particularly if you know someone or yourself, if you're HIV positive or you know someone that is, share the information with them because that can prolong their longevity, uh, help them to overcome infections and so forth that uh, lead to premature death in folks with AIDS. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Right below is a link to the actual study that was published. I think it was in the annual of the New York Academy of Sciences and it was earlier this year in 2016. Let me know what you think about meditation. One of the tools I'm going to share with you in another video is the Muse app. It's a, a quantitative EEG device that I found to be very effective. Also heart math is great as well. You can learn more about the Muse app by going to meditationaid.com and if you want to learn more about heart math you can go to learnheartmath.com. I'll have the links to those below this video and also to that clinical study below this video as well. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for subscribing and we'll catch you on the next video.